if I can remember correctly. Please excuse me, but I believe this should be episode 5 or 6-ish of Free Colonies gameplay. Right now I am stationed over for beta. Um, I know a lot of people might not be watching this, mainly to the gear factor of, uh, well, the Emmys being on. But today I'd like to work with a couple of people to make a military exercise possible. Now, I might not have the mom right now, but uh, I'm going to be doing hopefully two live streams back to back, one of which is going to be pronouncing uh, getting one of Ant Hill's naval vessels in order for a training exercise. So I've chosen the AHN Abbey to be an advocate for this training exercise, being because the Abbey has not really been left, has not even left port in approximately a long time. The Abbey will be our uh, best chance at simulating this escort chances. So we're going to go ahead and get the Abbey transported over by the Gulf of... I don't know where this Gulf is. It's, it's, it's near where the hot zone is, but I'd like to get this ship positioned over there for a training exercise. And we're going to temporarily hook this thing up for full combat capabilities. Now because the Abbey and these battleships, this is a Lincoln class ship, it is the biggest and baddest big gun ship that we have around in terms of using the big guns of course. But you must keep in mind when it comes to these ships that these things are lagtastic monsters. These things can produce and destroy like no other ship can possibly come near. And something that people really don't understand about these ships is how extremely powerful they are. Their main intention is not to be a destroyer or a cruiser or anything upon the lines of normal duties. These are full-out, balls-to-the-wall battleships that are meant to strictly take place in battles between on land and on other types of, I guess what you could say. These ships are fully, I mean, I quote-unquote say, fully capable of causing some major, major damage of anything they come in contact with and mainly due to the fact of as you can see right here you may notice that these ships are equipped with some hardware that most ships aren't each one is different but the the AHN Kyle class which is the hanker right here is a part of uh, is equipped with more tomahawk launchers than big guns matter of fact the back only has one big gun while the front actually has three big guns total of four big guns and the Lincoln class has six big guns, which is kind of overkill, but uh, the damage destruction they can do is, is something totally out of the water. These ships are equipped with anti-destroyer guns, and this particular ship at least has a total of 162 Tomahawk missiles that it can launch at once. There's a total of 162 Tomahawk launchers on board this ship, um, and they can all launch at once. It is really laggy. So, I mean, it's kind of stupid to launch them all at once, but it can be done. And, uh, hear me when I say this, it's not a good idea to launch all those. But I will demonstrate what these things can do when they launch, and all the hell and fury they can unleash. It's actually pretty ridiculous. But for now, I'd like to get one of these ships transported and set up as a battle outpost location to fully demonstrate their capabilities as a ship. As we said, we're going to be using an Abbey, unless we want to use maybe one of our less powerful ships. The Abbey is a pretty powerful ship, and it can cause quite a bit of extension of damage. Um, I don't know. I want to use the Linda, but the Linda is not as capable as the rest of them. The Linda's been on a couple of missions already. Yeah, we'll use the Abbey. So the location I want to teleport to is down here in this gulf right here. This will be our test site over here against this land. We're going to blow this whole mass of land up. Now, inland, as you can see, there might be some mountain terrain up here that I like to strike using the tomahawk launchers. Now, that's if we can reach it. I'm pretty sure we can reach it, but I'd like to cause a serial amount of damage to the front over here. I want to launch as much guns and I want to blaze as much crap as we can. Although the ship is going to face west, so chances are we're going to strike over here on the side of the mountain as our, this is going to be our main target area. So, let's get down there. We're going to have to fly down to this location. 
And to do so, of course, let's go ahead and do slash warp ant hill. And, oh, oh, my bad. Oh, the stupid it balloons. God damn it. I thought those were removed. Uh, all right. E chest. Oops. So we need to take one of these out. Bada bing bada boom. Bada boom bada boom. And we're going to go ahead and scroll to the section. Go ahead and get our elytra on here. And we'll give ourselves some rockets. And let's just take the elevator up there. Oops. I have to take the stairs up to the final location. So all we have to do is go supersonic for just a tiny bit. And we'll be over there. Let's go ahead and enable the runway. Runway is enabled. And we will be clear for takeoff. So let's just go ahead and ban this here. So you can see where we're going to go. Just need to head south, basically, and we're there. And it's kind of a debate whether I want to do that there or here. Because right here is a mountainside. I kind of want to blow this mountainside off the grid. So it all really depends. Right here is a snowy biome. Snowy. And there's a lot of possibilities of attack damage that we could probably cause. But I'd like to get somewhere far away. Away from the hot zone, as we call it. So preferably no damage will be inflicted. At least, hopefully, that will be the thing we want. But I think our most likely hooded location... Or we could base one right up here. Do some damage over here. But there might not be enough room for that. And plus, I might want to turn this into a naval base. So let's not strike there. Nope. Hmm. Somalian pirates... These guys are always trying to steal anthill vessels. Maybe we should give them a taste of uh, what we got here. I don't know what the hell. That was that was quite odd. Okay. Well, I don't think I want to attack them. I don't want to attack them, period. And it looks like the nerve... Oh, there's the Twin Towers, like always. And the nerve faction is right over here. I don't want to touch them either. So I think we are best to uh, drop one down here. Besides our nuclear test site over here anyhow, why not? This this whole section is always being blown up, so why not blow it up some more, right? Alright, directly south. Could not have been said better. Alright, we're going to head south. Gain some altitude. And as simple as can be. And... Afterburners. Ta da! By the ocean. Alright. So it looks like we can obviously attack this little land mass over here, which is that mountain we wanted to attack. We're better if we do it right against here. Doesn't appear to be too much water. We don't want to attack water. Water's a no-no. Go a little bit further inland here. Yeah, that'll be perfect, actually. Quite perfect. So, instance here. This is where we're at. If we'd like to, I think honestly right here might be a good option. Or we could probably bring it down this way. These ships are very large. you got to remember these ships are very, very large. And very, very capable. You know, they are not toys. These things are uh, very powerful weapons. Alright. Speed 10. So I guess our best bet is right here. In terms of everything else. Up one. So 
how the pacing of one of these in goes, you just go ahead and you say a renaissance down and bada bing bada boom. You've got it down, son. And I'm going to ask and see if I can get my friend AJ here to accomplish me here and see if he would like to help me because he's going to be trained how to use these. So, let's see if he can help me with this. Hey, um, I'm live streaming, but I want to do a military exercise, not against anyone or anything, okay, but, yeah. but I'm going to be using the AHN Abbey to pound the living shit out of a shoreline that is completely unoccupied whatsoever. Would you like to participate? Okay. You would be controlling the ship. Uh, yeah. Oh, by All the right. way, the server timed out for some reason. Yeah, that was on me. I do apologize for that. All right, well, well, we just kind of barged barge into the land here, but that screw it, I'm not fixing that because that means I have to repaste it, and that just lags. All right, anyhow, um, AJ, if you'd like, uh, why do you why do you have glowing? Uh, I'm trying to get myself the rainbow thing, but it's just white. Yeah, that's a magical thing for me. Hmm. It's just something I created. TP to me? Every time I join, it seems I, I'm given survival. Yeah, that's. I have to restart the server. It should fix it, but it's just, it's fine for right now. Yeah, I'm actually working on the firearm thing for um, Happy Jig. I'll TP you one second. Alright, just, uh, I'm gonna only use... Oh, you're disguised as an Ender Dragon. Am I really still disguised as an Ender Dragon? Yeah, I like doing that, and then I forget that I'm disguised as an Ender Dragon, and it makes Andy freak the fuck Oh my god, if you're glowing as Ender Dragon, that means I was a fucking rainbow Ender Dragon. Uh, actually, no, I didn't see any rainbow. Oh, that sucks. Anyhow, um, so, I'm gonna teach you how to fire one of these. But to do so, we're gonna have to go ahead and rig one of these up to properly fire. Now, I mean, I'm not going to sit here for a while. Oh, someone's watching. Hello, person that's watching. Uh, I'm not going to go ahead and sit here and, like, have to hook it up right now. But I think for right now, we should just do a big guns test. We don't have enough people to man all this, all these guns here. But, I mean, we have How enough. How do you get rid of your effects? How do you get rid of the effects for yourself? Um, to get rid of your effects, you just do slash effect, your name, and then clear. Um... Which I sh I just did for myself. Okay, there you go. Yeah. So what are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna pound the shoreline over here, uh, to the north of the position of the ship, and we're gonna pound it hard. So, and I know the ship kind of cut in over there, but that that's fine for right like now, right? This? Yeah, yeah. There you go. You should like undisguise yourself as an Ender Dragon because right now you're like in the fucking gun as an Ender Dragon. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm gonna teach you how to use these. I mean, they're kind of easily knowable how to use, but... Uh, is it okay if you just fire stuff? You just fire what? Stuff. Just fire stuff? Yeah. I mean, as of now, yeah, I mean... Shit, though, I gotta think here. Okay. Oh, oh, I have an idea. I have an idea how to make one fire like the rest of them. Don't do anything yet. I have a really genius idea that I might be able to rig up real quickly. Can you rotate the other, uh, can you rotate the other cannons for me? Yeah. Alright, thank you. I'm gonna actually rig it up, so, down in the control room, all you do is hit three buttons that are positioned like they are over here, and it automatically clones all three buttons to that position. Oh, I just broke uh, something I shouldn't you have. You wanna work on that project together? Uh-huh. Of course. I'm just gonna get them ready, but I need you to rotate the cannons. It shouldn't be too hard. What are the anti-destroyer guns anyway? Like these little buttons on the side. They're basically just a fireball that pops up, and you hit them, and then they just blow the hell up. But they're quite, they cause a lot of damage, to be honest with you. They have to take precautions with firing these. Yeah, please AKA do. AKA taking off the handrails on the side of the, the 
your shit. All right, I'm I'm it, hooking up. Bag actually moved it. Oh. Oh yeah, I've seen a couple of those just flying around the world. I was flying uh, to someone's area because I, I I thought it was my ship, but it wasn't my ship. Sorry, I wasted my time flying across the map. Anyway, I was flying, and they're just these random anti-destroyer gun-looking things flying through the air. It's completely random. That happens sometimes. Yeah, I see it. Every time I go across the world, I see at least a, a few fires or magma things flying across the air. Well, I don't think I cloned this correctly. Slash clone. Boop, boop, boop. So this is going to make it so when you push these buttons, they automatically clone properly to the relative location of where you want to get it from. I don't know who's watching, but whoever's watching, thank you for watching. Oh, kind of oh, I, I see what these do. Yes, that that's a large explosion. What? The anti-destroyer guns. Did you shoot the land with it? Uh, yeah. I shot the mountain with it. Be careful, though. If you shoot them too close, it does do hull damage. Alright. So this is not the biggest battleship. No, this this is uh the most big guns in a battleship, but it's not the biggest, baddest one we have. The biggest, the Kyle class, because of the shocking amount of tomahawk launchers it possesses. I mean, that thing has enough tomahawks. It, it can launch a total of 162 at once, which is laggy as shit, but it's possible. And it's kind of okay, crazy. Oh, don't fire yet. Don't fire yet. I want to bomb the destroyer really bad. <laughs> oh, well, we're going to do that as one, and it's going to fuck it up really hard. All right, here. I have a thing for you, or I don't know if you can do it because, uh... I'm going to be tipping here. Okay. All right. Right now, I'm rigging up the, the main central thing. This is how I have to do it normally when we're firing against something. Unfortunately, because of limitations. Uh, I need you to rotate these guns. Oh, oh, don't hit that yet. Don't hit that yet. First, we have to prepare the ship for battle. And, uh, that takes a little bit. For these, you have to... Oh, no, it isn't south. Okay, I guess I fixed that. I, I was gonna rotate them, but okay. Yeah, if you can rotate them, I just rotated that one. Yeah, they all gotta face north, right? They all gotta face north, yeah. The hell, why could I not? Oh. It's so trippy when you're inside of these and they change, because then the door suddenly changes sides. Yeah, it, it is, to be honest with you, and you also gotta be really careful, because uh, if you do it improperly, uh, and you're not in the middle of it, sometimes it'll uh, not do the best things for you. And also, I gotta keep where those guns are loaded, so I'm probably gonna have to do that. Oh, uh, what's with this ant- what's with the ant- the- Anti radar that's not that's not on. Turn it on. Okay. You normally have to put those on when you spawn it. The ship. There you go. It's on. We've got the radar up, so now the radar will exactly only report for me it. though. But we're not gonna I need exactly it. Exactly. Where to put that on the on my ship? My uh the iron class of ship. I have the exact place. It's actually a really nice place. You know, on the the little T section. Yeah. On, on the front of the ship. I want to put it on the top of there. That's okay, right? Yeah, that's okay. I don't mind if you take the command block and throw it on there. Um, so I just got to go ahead, and once we get this last one done... And how do you disable the radar? Because it's laggy as fuck. Is it really laggy for you? Never had a lag problem with it. It lags the whole ship for me. The whole area around here, for some reason, it makes it lag. Alright, well... Hold on one second. Yeah, so, I'm, going, I'm going to have to kill that. So keep region. And we need to I go. Mean, I'll, I'll, put a, I'll put one of those blocks on the PAP ship. But I mean, that that thing's, it's got to stay off unless there's an active war. Alright. I'm going to be to the war room. Alright. Okay. I got to get the tomahawks programmed. We want to go north. So north is in what direction? Right here. So you're only going to use the tomahawks on the north side. And what are we doing? The tomahawks are in the control room, right? Yeah, they're on the ceiling. Uh, hold on, let me get this programmed. So we want to go negative 
Z. Sam, I, I wish you could put signs on the ceiling. Like, you know how the sign post goes on the ground? We'll just have it upside down where the sign post is connected to the ceiling. Yeah, that, that would have been nice. So long. Especially if you could do double sided signs. Oh, fucking hell. Like We're not doing this. Give me a second. Oh, God. My grandmother is, uh, trying to get up and use the bathroom, so... She might need me extensively throughout this, so I apologize for all the viewers who should be live or live streaming and watching this, because it means I'm going to be. Well, can you put the buttons back on these? Uh, yeah. Thank you, man. Yeah, so I just programmed them for you. I'll teach you how to program these afterwards. By the way, I think the only people watching are me and you. Ah, right, it's fine. I uploaded to YouTube afterwards, anyhow. So. And just double checking. I hope this actually is north. So you're gonna teach me how to program these tomahawks sometime around? Yeah, uh, around as soon as we're done with this live stream, I'll teach you how. We need to go negative. It's north. All right, all right. Tomahawks are done. Um, I'm gonna teach you protocol. Before you do anything on the ship, you need to learn what these do. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly teach you how to do. So. We're not using nuclear tomahawks yet, um, and the reason why is because, well, it'll require a lot of they're effort. Huge. Oh yeah, they're, they're ridiculous. Although we might use one, but uh, when we do, I'm gonna have to program the launch thing for you. But for now, this is your launch section right here. You click okay. this. This is the far left barrel, barrel one, barrel two, barrel three on all cannons. Oh, so those are those little-looking cannons on the side of the ship, right? No, those are the big ones. But they're all synced together right now. Oh, so those are the big uh, guns on the on the front and back. Yep. So go ahead and hit those. I want to see what, if they work or not. Aw, oh, it doesn't do the explosion effect. Because it's placing the buttons. All right, it did fire, though. So, slash lag... Clear. Uh, do you, I, oh, never mind. You know, I've always thought the funnels on, on these ships look like the Dis, Disney cruise ship funnels. Let me kind of do, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Why is that seriously? Yeah, clear lag doesn't work. We, we've all, me, Andy, Happy Jake, we all tried the clear lag command, doesn't work. I think it's double G, pretty sure. It's not. Oh, here we go. Be right back. Yes. You need me still, or? 
So why'd you call me away? Uh, kill me. I'm not being sarcastic, please. I'm not being sarcastic. Yes, you are. Being a shithead, but not Still need me? Do you need me still? Alright, thank you. I apologize. Unfortunately, it's not going to make the boom and the particle effect because it's stupid like that. But as long as it fires, right? Yeah. Alright, I'm going to teach you how to properly use these. So, down in the control room. Go back down there, by the way. Um, or just TP to me. Oh, there you go. How do you even get down, the, down here? I know it's like by the cafeteria. Yeah, there's a, a couple entrances and exits to it. But I'll show you in a bit. So, uh, first off, whenever, ever, ever, ever you're firing this thing, do not launch the particle bombs while these are still firing. Worst mistake you can possibly make. Trust me. You have to leave these off for like a second, and then fire one of these. So how these ships are supposed to work, you've got the captain, who is always on the ship. You've got six people in this particular ship, on each one on a turret, and you've got one person down here. Captain gives out the orders of what to fire. Everyone else does everything else, okay? You get it? Uh, can you give me spectator so I can glitch, so I can clip through the thing? Oh, uh, you can just put a hole through the deck right here. Right here. But you're not going to need to go upwards, though. And plus, you can see on my personal view through the stream. You have two monitors, so. Yeah. But for now, you can use that hole. It's fine. All right. All right, so here we go. So we're going to want to use the left cannon. When I say so, you okay. fire that up. When I say so, you turn it off. When I say so, you kill nearby stray bullets. When I say so... You, uh, fired cannon, side cannon particle bombs. Okay? By the way, is there an Antle Discord server so we can, like, do stuff with ships? Like, have a ship, you know, uh, a voice channel for each ship and all that? Yeah, I mean, that's possible, but I'd have to look into it. That'd be a lot of things. I, but, I, I mean, I could, I'd make an anthill like chat though i might just make an anthill discord server but that that's a possibility i might not do that i can make an anthill discord chat i, I love discord i did this uh, let me let me do that though I, I can set it up but anyhow let's let's go ahead and focus on this first you ready to hit those side cannons okay here we go side okay. left side cannons get them on
Holy shit. Uh, Alright, hit them off, yeah. Kill nearby stray bullets. Killed. Alright, particle bombs. Let them rip. Particle bombs. No, 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 they're not off. Oh, wait. They're, yeah, they are. Never mind. I'm just derping. Oh, my bad. Oh, shit. Glitch. Give me one second here. There was a minor bug when I installed these. Give me one second here. Sorry, I have to remove it. I didn't do the tag right. It's gun, not guns. Okay. They're probably explode. Okay, go ahead and hit the particle bombs now. Okay, particle bomb. Are you looking at my stream? Can you imagine unleashing fire on another ship like this? Alright, fire those big guns! Go easy on them though. One, two, three. One, I only, two, three. I only hit the, them once. You want to hit them more? Oh yeah, keep on doing them a couple times. All right, you can shut them off now. Okay. All right, and I'm gonna hit the particle bombs because they're up here. Forgot to put that down there for with you. Unless they didn't. No, they didn't. Okay. I'm gonna have to heavy refire in a second here. That was all my own stupidity. I never set these up properly for battle at for this particular battle at least, because I I was mod. Remember how I said these can be modified for a smaller crew. As we were speaking, I half fast mod modified it for a smaller crew. All right. I said so. Press uh, that button. After the stream, do you want do you want to try to work on my ship or do you want to work on programming this thing? Ah, it doesn't need to be programmed. We can work on your ship. Go ahead not, and hit that not button. Programming this. Uh, okay, which one? The one I just placed. Okay. Oh. Uh, I didn't mean. Uh, you said that you would teach me how to program the, the tomahawk. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. I Can you hit it again? Just keep pressing okay. it down. Okay, do you want me to spam it? Don't spam it. You might want to turn off your... Okay, in there there's an anti-weapon defense system. Uh, let's look at that. Okay. Can you flip it off? It's probably... It's it's disabled by default. Is it disabled? Anti-super weapon... The anti-super weapon is the one. Okay, yeah, it's off. Off? Okay. You want it to be on? Keep it off, or else it'll kill the internet. Go ahead and hit it again, the, the, the particle bomb thing. There we go. See that in the live stream? Yeah, that thing, that's, that's just enough. Yeah, the chunks have to be loaded, but uh, yeah. This thing, this shit's fucking crazy. It's all a combination of hitting it again and again. Like I said, there's normally Navy planes that'll be around to patrolling the area, waiting, you know, to scout for you. And once they keep the chunks loaded, basically you can cause shit like this. Go ahead and hit it again. Uh, uh, can't say if this was long term, say if someone had these particle bombs, they just kill all the particle bombs. If they have the same technology as Anhel? Yeah. Well, Anhel, Anhel had stealth ballistic missiles that were being developed to launch off of the ships. That was a technology we never put in the ships yet because there was no need for it, but we were. We did design the launcher for it. It's basically like a tomahawk, instead, it launches a uh, an armor stand. Out of, or not an armor stand, excuse me. It launches. What is it launch? Oh, entity it launches instead of the prime TNT. 
I think it was. Yeah, uh, this was launched against an anti-war uh, battleship. Could the battleship destroy all? Could it kill all the particle bombs? Yeah, it could. It could. I mean, not the particle bombs, but it could destroy the TNT before it got next to it. But the particle bombs, I mean, like the ship doesn't. It can handle it. Like afterwards, when we're done blowing the crap out of this, and there's nothing left to blow up. Which, by the way, hit the particle bombs again. We blow up the ship afterwards. We're gonna do a stress test of it. And you're gonna see how much shit it can eat. Uh, can we just uh, make a destroyer by the battleship and try to make the destroyer continue? Yeah. Sounds good. Here's one of those green destroyers. Oh, the the the, the most powerful. Sometimes these things get stuck in the water and stuff. Can they withstand the what? You said- wait, hold on, I'm sorry, I'm listening to too much explosions. You said can they withstand an iceberg? Yeah. I mean, I don't think Minecraft is a I don't think it would sink through that. Yeah, this is not really designed for hard to Yeah, it's kind of a right I think also falling gravel. Because you see gravel, what it lose, it bounces. Kind of like it, it, as it, as if it was a player bouncing on one. Yeah. Gravel just bounces and bounces. Holy crap, I wasn't even over here when this was going off. So you can see how much damage this causes as a well coordinated system. Although it does require some extra full support to really do stuff like this. I mean, I, these chunks are unloaded, that's why it's such a long time. I think we should be done pretty soon. Oh my god, there's more people over here! This is insane, right? A little long, I mean, it's taking so long because some of the, uh, some of the particle bomb spawners got stuck in the water, and that's not good when that happens. And over here, they should be going off a little bit. Yeah, there's just a couple of them floating around. It's pretty so much if fun. we were actually doing this in a real operation, we would say, uh, take battle stations and take them. Yeah, that's what we normally do. Uh, take battle stations and then, like, normally you clear the deck if you're launching tomahawks. It all really depends. But it's pretty much done now. Uh, if you went ahead and hit the, uh, particle bombs again, that'd be pretty good. Uh, because what happens is... The whole objective is how I was telling you to fire and then unfire. Every time you go ahead and you fire those particle bombs, it spreads the original big gun shells around. Then when you hit the big the particle bombs again, it spreads even more. But I don't think we want it to spread even more. I think that would be a terrible oh, idea. By the way, there are a bunch of Uh, like, what do you In, want? They're inside, they're inside the ship. Are you in survival or? I'm in creative right now, but I'd like to go over. I mean, in the inside of the ship, it's gonna cause damage, so.
What? I just teleported to you. Yep, all done. <laughs> you want to try the tomahawks now? Oh, and yeah. Clear Wag just took care of all the shells that were flying around. Or almost took care of all the shells. That were flying around. I'm sorry, what? Bats. Can you please make bats be cleared by Clear Lag? Yeah, I can. So this is what we did. It's pretty much pounded the shore. So why don't you go ahead and, and go to the north side tomahawks and just go click, 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 and I'll let you know what to do. Go ahead and hit clear the deck first on the ship. I'm gonna run over there so I can see what it'll look like. Uh, wh which side is the north side? Uh, you can normally look by hitting north. Oh, Dee Dee's on, so she's gonna wanna. It's it's the oh, same yeah. side that the left side cannons are on. Okay, so I'd hit battle stations if I were you. Okay. Yep. Take battle stations. Clear the deck. Uh, okay, so do I just push the advanced tomahawk? No, you don't hit that oh, yet. No. You gotta go ahead and just hit launch, hit launch, hit launch. Just click them every other second. Go ahead and launch okay. them. The purple ones on the roof? Yeah. Here we go. That should be good. Okay, I launched all of them just for good measure. Here's all of you see my live stream. Yeah, uh, that that that's completely retarded. That shouldn't be allowed on the faction server, to be honest. I mean, they're just glitching out, but they're all coming right here. Go ahead, hit particle bomb cycle. Up. Oh. Oh, wait, no, no, not yet, not yet, not yet. They're glitching out the still. Advanced tomahawk V2. Yeah, when I say so. They're just you have to keep the chunks low. This is why a spotter plane is kind of required for far distances with tomahawks. Alright, once they all land, they're gonna glitch around. They're gonna keep on popping up and down. But in reality, okay, you just go ahead. Fuck it. Hit the uh, advanced particle bombs. Eh, uh, take. A Oh. If I'm not see the triggering. Can you not say that? Like, because this is going to be uploaded on YouTube. I don't want to but that's actually a game. Alright. Well, you're going to need to turn on the anti defense system, or not yet. But you're gonna launch a nuclear tomahawk. Oh, actually, not yet. There's way yeah, too much. Right yeah, hit it. Turn, turn it on the anti defense system now. It'll kill all stray bullets next to you. Alright. Well, that's how you do it. What about the anti-personnel trespassing thing? You don't have to turn that on. Keep that off. Alright, go ahead and uh, launch one tomahawk. Okay. But, you know, as a ship captain, it, do I get to have the trespassing thing alert me when it's on my ship? Yeah. Alright. Hit the, uh, you're gonna have to arm the nuclear one. And keep, make sure that your, uh, your anti- your your anti super weapon is enabled. Anti super weapon enabled. Uh, what's next? Arm, arm that one. shit and ignite it. Uh, arm one or arm two. Oh, you took too long. It it, it blew up. Oh. Yeah. Here, go, go ahead and turn off. Oh, yeah, it blew up. Turn off your super weapon. Launch one again, and then, or you can increase your time on that. It should have like a time of uh eight eight hundred or like five hundred. Change it to eight hundred. Okay, so do you want me to turn on the anti super weapon? Turn it off. Launch okay, one off. to launch one tomahawk, then enable it quickly, and then get it armed. And when I say so, launch it. Okay. Uh, launching right now. Yeah, launch it. 
launched. Arm one. Yep. Arm. Arm do, two. Do I also push the the launched button? Yeah, you have to hit arm one and arm two. What about launched? Yeah, launch it. Okay, there's. I see a taco. We just a taco just appeared in the ship. Do you have your anti-super weapon ship. on? Uh, no. You should have enabled that, but that's okay. All right, it, it didn't detonate properly. It detonate too high. Oh, oh shit! The server just. Uh, I think we tap. I think we just killed the server. That's no, okay. Enable your anti-super weapon quick. Okay, I did. Actually, I don't even know if I did because the server is so glitchy. It's I just see. I. Oh my god! The tacos are under the ship. I think. Okay, there. It's enabled. Uh. Sh Hopefully, it'll shoot it down. You're too close of range. Oh shit, the ship is taking hull damage. Yep. Fuck the oh, ship. Shit. That's what happens when you don't have the anti super weapon on. You basically just nuke the ship. Well, you see the problem with that is that the server was lagging so much. It said the lamp was on, but I didn't even know if it was on or not because of the lag. That's fine. Well, obviously. It's obviously not gonna enable now. The ship's just ate a fucking nuke. The ship just ate shit. The ship, yeah, it literally just ate shit. It ate it pretty hard, as far as I was concerned. But at least, uh, that's why you never detonate those things too close by. That's if, Whenever you detonate them close by, you need to have the anti-super okay. weapon on. Uh, can you clear lag for these tacos? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we're not gonna, we're not gonna oh, do Oh shit, it. they're still blowing up. I did it, it should clear them. So yeah, the ship got fucked. I mean, it's pretty I much mean, the whole bottom is so, destroyed. I think one half of the ship. Nope, never mind. <laughs> Just look underneath. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I mean, can we uh, we can make the the justice superstructure become its own ship? <laughs> <laughs> but anyhow, uh, at this point, I'd be sounding off the alarm, or the, I don't think there is an evacuation alarm. Because it hit the dead center of the ship, the alarm isn't working currently. I think you completely blew up the whole command center. Yeah. So that's not even gonna oh, go I, into an alarm. Oh wait, no, no, it's not, it's not, the command station is still mostly there. There's just a little bit of fire in here. I think we can use a small fire extinguisher to put that out. <laughs> small fire, the whole fucking bottom of the ship is gone. <laughs> no, TP to me. You oh, see, wow. It's just, <laughs> look, it's just this fire. I've extinguished Oh, this thing's then... still gonna go off. Let's just beat the crap out of the ship. You ready? I'm gonna do exactly what I told you not to do and ignite it. And, uh, fire the particle bomb while the ship is firing when it's uh, to the side. You know the ship just ate 16 particle bombs. I'm going to arm It just ate like 16. Oh my god, you launched it again. Oh shit. <laughs> oh I cleared it. Uh, oh yeah, we totally, uh, we're going to kill the server after this. Where did you launch the. Oh fuck. I had no fucking idea. <laughs> Holy That's. Shit. You never launched one of those. Holy shit! <laughs> the whole thing is gone. Just, just fucking gone. It pretty much just destroyed the whole ship. Well, at least you know what it can eat, right? I mean, I, I guess there's like a few pieces of, of the hull, but I mean, the stern stayed pretty well. good. Actually, the armoring they put on isn't bad. With the the double layer hull is really nice to keep the ship afloat. That's well, what I did, yeah. Out. I see another spawner. I think that was the taco spawner. Freddy is calling me. Oh, there's still more. Jesus fuck, you launched so many of them. There's multiple nukes going off. Oh, 
There we go. Funny how, besides totally wrecking the ship because he did something wrong, but that's okay. It was just an accident, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so we should get some. We should get one of this uh, destroyer out here and just finish it off. Okay, but first off, I'd like you to come out here and see the damage that we caused with the ship. Uh, yes. I, I can see. It, it looks like a... You watching my live stream? Yeah. But I'm also following you around in the game. Okay. This is all what we did. This is why I love these things so much. Like... Oh. No, 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 no. Because F and L. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Someone's gonna see this on Dynamap. <laughs> yeah, or somebody's always watching. I bet Tanner always watches Dynamap, too. <laughs> Many. <laughs> I spelled nuclear wrong, but whatever. That's the way that you actually that you spelled nuclear in a couple of things. It's it's a uh, funny. Actually, I think she was there for that. I don't know. Oh. Yeah, you want to get a destroyer over here, huh? Yeah. I mean, Why there's, still e. there's sure. an E over here, so it's not, it's a E. That's a new ship. It's no longer right, an answer so ship, it's just an E ship. It's an E ship. It's like E machines, it gets fucked. Oh, by the way, there's still a crew member. A crew member actually survived, but he got uh, radiation poisoning from the nuke. <laughs> DP here, you actually see a, a, a crew member who's, who got radiation poisoning, but actually survived. Hold on, which which destroyer should we get over there? Uh, the most, the most, the most, the most. <laughs> I can't speak. The most deadly. The most advanced one. Yes, whichever one is the best. Bill class. You should get the best one, and then you should get the worst one, because once we blow up the destroyer, I mean, once we blow up the battleship, I want to have the best d destroyer and the worst destroyer, destroyer battle. All right. Actually, I want to show you the worst one. Uh, it, it might be kind of even, just depending on the fighting capabilities, but because of the defensive capabilities oh, are even on this, them. Come here. Come, come to me. This is the crew member who survived the bombing but got radiation poisoning from the nukes. Oh, yeah, just look at that. Uh, you... Alright. Let me see the little tiny the destroyer. Yeah. I hope I was level. I don't think I pasted it right. Uh oh. It's, it's... Oh, I fuck it. I didn't paste it right, but whatever. All right. Now, and now it's like uber retarded looking. Oh, oh shit! That that stupid thing's enabled still. Ooh. Okay, here you go. Answer destroyer gun. The answer destroyer gun doesn't work because the. I disabled it. Go ahead and fire. That's too close, you might actually damage the ship. Oh, uh, it's not. I'll, I'll, I'll take off the iron bars to prevent that from happening. You do that, I'm gonna do this. Oh, I, I just killed the crew member who survived the first explosions. R.I.P. crew member. Hey, I was going to do that. Aw, it went right through. That's boring. Anti destroyer guns are the best ones for this. I have to hit the radar. Oh my god, this thing is dead. Anti destroyer bullets are pretty good. 
It's we actually uh Tanner and I actually blew up Diddy's whole Diddy Land area with just with anti destroyer bullets. Yeah. I mean it was just one anti destroyer turret and that whole thing blew up the whole faction. Yeah. You gotta admit though these battleships can take a lot of damage though. I mean yeah. I mean, technically, like, after, you know, after it was severely bombed, like, say if you launched a taco at it, yeah, it would be partially destroyed, but if you let, if you launch less tacos than, of course, I did, you'll still have some rooms, and you can still, like, launch a couple things as long as the control room isn't broken. Yeah. Because remember the first time we did that? The control room was actually perfectly fine. I just had to use a fire extinguisher to extinguish a couple fires. Yeah. And that's that's it. Then you could still use the ship, kinda. Well, that ship's gone, so. <laughs> Ripperoni, bro. Also, you know what else gets a Ripperoni? What? Uh, the DSS SST. I I developed the ultimate DSS SST killer. You do realize that the SST has that lip, but can easily be removed. It's not required. I know, but it's a retarded lip. It, it, it's it's lip. just part of the design. The IRS and all the other panels had the design to begin with. You know, my panel is also more advanced in the in the way that you know when you reset a DSS SST, it actually uh, makes the alarms go off. But when you reset uh, IC-2, the alarms do not go off. Uh, okay, I guess. I'm actually installing an IC2 in a uh, the Happy Jig base, not in the underground. The underground is an IC8, but the above ground is going to have its own pa a panel, which is an IC2. Yeah. You want to see what the worst destroyer can do on land? Yeah, but you put that like somewhere next to the this destroyer because I want to have them battle. Oh. The best and worst. Okay. I mean, can't guarantee about battle, but okay. Come on, make some noise. I got wow, wow, wow. I mean, the worst that destroyer is gonna win because of the anti destroyer bullets, because the other one doesn't have it, and it has no defenses against anti destroyer bullets. However, you if know, we battle, uh, my ship, the the ship that I. My iron class of ship actually has anti destroyer, but they're not on the front. It's only it's only anti destroyer gun, which is on the the big turret on the middle of the ship. But I'd like to do a competition between these two ships. You know the the we call this one the John. We call it the little retarded destroyer that could. He actually destroyed Tanner's base with it. I don't know if you know his outpost. Uh. Uh, yeah, that, that was really mean-hearted. You shouldn't do that again. No, I'm not you know, going his, to. You know, the thing about that, what you did is you called his uh, an ugly base, but the thing is that it's kind of nicer than Antil. What? I, what I, I never called this base ugly. I No, the outpost. I, I saw your YouTube video. Never. The camera does not lie. I called it ugly? Which one? The uh, Which outpost? The outpost. You, you uploaded the video. Uh, apparently smashing the outpost. Oh, oh no! That's that outpost. That was by Richard and James's, and it was ugly yeah. because it was unfinished. And I told Tanner to remove those. I mean, honestly, I helped Dee Dee out, but it was mainly her that had the aggression towards Tanner. I shouldn't have even intervened. I did. I, I was helping on both sides at that time. Now I just don't do fuck with anyone. Just to prevent any conflicts, to be honest with you. You know, the only things that are still remaining on this ship are the command blocks, really. Yeah. Because apparently command blocks have the same durability as bedrock or some shit. Apparently. It's kind of bullcrap, but whatever. I have the urge to just uh, aim one of these anti-destroyer bullets down and kill the ship. <laughs> oh, one of these? The one I pasted in? No, the anti-destroyers. 
Oh, to destroy that. To destroy your Euron. Okay. Self-destruct. Okay, so where's the job? Oh, there's the job. Did you hear the horn? Yeah. You should honk back at me. Oh, asshole! Breaking my radars. Yeah, the radar lags like shit. How does it lag for you? You should only use the radar when there's an actual war or something, because at other times it just lags. Where even is the ship's horn in this stupid ship? I, I hate Bridge. It. Wh whoever did this. Like All the horns are in the bridges, except for the battle. I know, but where the fuck even is the bridge? Oh, there it is. I hate, uh, who, who designed this ship? Because they need a, I need to talk to because Aww. this is so sad. This Boo, is like a, it's got it's, fire it's charges. Dance ship. Fire charges are useless. Yeah, I can't find the bridge. Either that or, or I'm retarded. The bridge, it's, it's right there. It's, it's like, is it's right below you. Fuck it, just. <laughs> oh, oh, but I would figure that the bridge would have, like, some controls. But it's nothing but the horn. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the one thing that the John has that the, uh, Bills don't is... You ready for this? You ready? Oh, shit, wrong way. You know what? That's exactly what... I, I'm pretty sure that the PAPD ship... Was actually based off of a John Hull. It's, it's the John is based as a Lar as a Lars class ship. It's based off of a Lars class hull. Uh, well, I thought that the John was older. Mm, so actually, the Lars, the Lars is. Older? So isn't the Lars the worst? It was decommissioned. This is the worst, still commissioned. Oh, I want to have a Lars. You do. You have an old Lars. Uh, no, that. That's a draw. I don't- I'm using the- the new one. I- I want a Lars with the weapons, like, to battle out right here, on the screen. The war- oh. oh fuck. <laughs> what- what have you done now? No, the Lars is terrible! <laughs> no, it's awful! The cannons barely- uh, the cannons on the John barely even fire. I was debating whether to decommission this ship. We're you upgrading know what, you it. Know what? Uh, fuck John. Fuck John. Fuck John. Fuck John. Fuck John. Shooting down the TNT. Oh, come on. Wait, what are, you trying, what are you trying to fire at me? Oh, shit, you hit me. Oh, I'm. <laughs> fuck. You have to turn off. You have to turn off your protection system. You don't even need a protection system to fuck me up. These ships don't have much defense. <laughs> Just keep shooting into the destroyer boats. You already fucked up the hull. Could you imagine if you had a guy on each and every one of these anti-destroyer guns? That could require so much. Yeah, these things don't take much. They're so unarmored. They're terrible. Well, I mean, I don't. Most destroyers aren't unarmored. Aren't very armored on this server, are they? Most destroyers in general aren't really armored. Okay, now I'm bombing the back. You know, the trunks haven't even uploaded yet. Oh, there the sh trunks uploaded because the ship looks perfect. Hmm? The ship look looks perfect until I went and updated those trunks to myself. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I've officially killed your ship. Yeah, that's true. Uh, R.I.P. the John. I'm gonna try to see what I can do to these TNT cannons. That's if they're not completely studded. I mean... Oh, uh, yeah, that, the, the TNT cannons are unoperable. The whole place is flooded. Oh, did oh, you turn gone. off my my stuff? No, I didn't turn it off. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn off these TNT cannons. I mean, I can still fire tomahawks though. Oh, oh, the drone can fire tomahawks. Oh shit! I don't want that. I and I don't even know how to program the tomahawks, so I can't defend myself. 
Oh, well, you're ripped. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. How's that for the little retarded story? Is that insane or what? Okay, I have to blow up your, your superstructure. It's so- it's already completely destroyed. And how did you even- I mean, besides the tomahawks. The tomahawks are still intact. Did I need to blow up your tomahawk? My alarm is going off like fucking nuts. My, mine's so fucked, it's not even going off anymore. How the fuck are your tomahawks not blown up? Okay, that's it. I I'm going to uh, do a little... Oh shit, I detonated the phone. <laughs> I missed. This is complete retardation. Oh my god. Uh, I want to kill This him. is pretty fun. We should do military drills like this all the time. How, how do you clear the egg again? Uh, if you're looking at my live stream, I, I just did it. Pro okay, I'm just gonna disable the. Uh, you obviously win. I'm just gonna disable the anti. the uh, anti TNT shootout thing. Oh, my TNT isn't even destroying you. My TNT was just, uh, coming really close. There's one thing that's actually really awesome to battle with. By the way, why does the alarm even say, uh, evac? Because, you know, if your ship is getting bombed, you don't want to just evac. No, it's like, evacuate the ship on Captain's command. I don't know why it spams it. There's a problem with these ships. Yeah, it fucking spams the chat. Okay, I like how the door still works. You walk up to the door and it still works. It's fixed. You know, maybe if I put a ton of iron, iron bars around my, my uh, new ship, maybe that would make it armored. I don't think it'd give it much iron like, armor properties, but it could. The most lethal thing that is available is the fucking obsidian. No, the most lethal thing is gotta be on these ships. Is uh. What the oh, fuck? by the way, my horn still works. My tomahawks still work. I mean, my ship actually held up super well. Yeah, but you gotta admit the tomahawk is awesome. Yeah. yeah. I, I want to see what Alars does. Can it, Alars like, can't do anything. It's been decommissioned. It's been all the weapon systems have been removed. Just sits around yeah. Fort Alpha. Then why don't you bomb it? You know, for That's some reason I, use I it don't understand. You know, I I love that we were talking. Oh, can can how do you shut off this fucking alarm? You want, you, you fucking want, destroy it. It just keeps going off. I don't have a fucking reset for it. Okay, this is what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm regening where the battleship is because I don't want anthill tech being like out in the open. It, regardless if it's blown the fuck up, it's still anthill tech. And there's actually ways to uh resurrect anthill tech. Quite easily, actually. Alright, this might lag a little bit. Bum, 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 we Oh, dude. Oh, no, I already told you, I'm pretty sure. Oh, fuck, it's lagging. Oh, yeah, it's lagging so hard. Hey, okay, it's gone. Ditch it, goon. Alright. Are you blowing it up now? <laughs> yes, I'm just using TNT. Nice. But the battleships versus the destroyers is a clear unfair match. Like, I think honestly the battleships, I'm not even working on them anymore. There was a couple other battleship projects that were up in the air, but I just never completed them. 
What the fuck? There is a huge ass grasshopper in my room. Ew, I, I hate bugs. And I do not like bugs. Bugs are cool. Just don't know how the hell I got in here. I know they're good, but I, I hate looking at them. They're so ugly looking. They're kind of cool, in my opinion. They, they make me... Especially like, ants. Ants are kind of cool, just how smart they are. I they mean, work ant, in ants are, ants are in, interesting, but beetles, like... Ugh. They, they look so disgusting. Yeah, Especially beetles are weird. Ones. So there you have it. <laughs> it's got all fucked up. I can't believe that that ship did all this. Isn't that insane? I'm, I'm going to have to take away all these command blocks from the... Now it's completely gone. Wait a second. Was the battleship completely destroyed by the destroyer? Oh wait, never mind. It destroyed itself. Yeah, basically. I, w I wonder what a destroyer by itself could do to the battleship. <laughs> well, you know what? Tanner actually destroyed uh one of the destroyers by himself. He just used like one single turn and destroyed the whole ship. He destroyed a John. The John was the oh. worst, and then the John pretty much just that ship that we the, the video that you saw that we blew up that outpost was with the AHN Linda. That was a battleship, okay? That was only one round of the big guns. That's it, okay? And that was with the minimum particle bomb effect that we had, okay? The other outpost he had near DD's base. This is during the we had a war over there between me and Tanner because what happened was. We had an out. We had the patrol ship over there. I went ahead and went into stealth mode by basically making myself invisible by drinking a potion of invisibility. I told Tanner by all circumstances during this during these conflicts we are not to board anyone's ships. I will not board your ships. You are not to board mine. I will not go on your property. You will not go on mine. That is a mutual agreement, and we both agreed upon it. I said. If we break this, we have the right to destroy and go on war each other. This was right after the Cold War when D when things were getting hot between Didi Land and him. Well, I mean, you really shouldn't be uh, pu putting ships within like 20 blocks of his outpost. It wasn't 20 blocks. Of, I mean, the one that you saw was 20 blocks of his outpost. The one that I yeah, pasted back to his Didi Land outpost was at least 120 blocks away from it. And he went on the ship and I told him, you need to leave. He's like, how do you know I'm on the ship? I said, I just know. I That ship didn't have the radar at the moment. That's before I did all the major upgrades to it. It had the version 2 Tomahawks. It didn't have the radar yet. I told him, we just know. Get off. He's like, relax, bro, relax. He goes into the compartment. I said, okay, Tanner. I've got, the, I've got your fucking outpost locked onto. I can fire it. Get off the ship. You are violating truce agreements. Like, no, bro, I'm not even on the ship. I said, okay, you're lost. That retarded destroyer, you know what it did? I launched what? one tomahawk, one particle bomb, <clears throat> his outpost is gone. I said, he's like, this is war! I'm like, I, I mean, I kind of already knew that. And then instantly, the next time he did it, uh, after that I had about, from that outpost, when he rebuilt it, I had about, I had, I think I had either a Lisa, no, I had two Lisas, I had a Lisa, a Jill, which were part of the Lisa class, and those ships are old. They're they're ass, but they're they're just mainly intimidation, to be honest with you. And then I had a Bill, and I believe, no, not a Luke. The Lukes are decommissioned before that. Um, and I believe a J, patrol destroyer over there. So I had a total of, you do the math. I had a total of like four ships over there, and I had a submarine right next to the outpost, like. On the other side of it, well, not on the other side, but on the other side of Didi Land, that had far range nuclear tomahawks on there. I wasn't going to use them, but I, I think either it did or I removed them. But it did have extremely high concentrated particle bombs on it. I told him, stop. And he's like, oh, no, no, Tyler, why don't we just stop this? We'll, we'll like never do this again, okay? Because I told him, listen, you just started a conflict. And that's why I went after, that's why I teamed up with, with DD Land to go after his outpost. That was the part reason to get kind of even with him secretly. Yeah, and then I said, you know what? It's no fun getting even if him. It doesn't know. And that's, I, I stirred up a whole bunch of bees when I did that. And, and then, of course, um, we completely destroyed DD Land. That was fun. Yeah, I mean, I didn't do much about that. I still had a sub over there that had the radar on. 
the underwater radar, and because most of DD land was under sea level, it was able to detect most of the shit that happened, and it was, uh, it was a clusterfuck of, uh, warning messages that popped up. <laughs> and, and also, uh, we put all the swastikas, and we also, <laughs> yeah, we put the big, uh, cactus with the penis thing. Oh, the cactus, <laughs> the, the... uh, Majid's cactus monster, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, even beyond that, it was kind of crazy. I'm gonna stop okay, the live so... stream now. Thank you guys for watching.